Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on UFT automation. In this video, we will look at transactions. Okay, uh, a transaction, uh, you know, in general, you know, a transaction is something that has a, a start and a finish. So when you, when you start something and finish whatever intended activity associated with it, then you say the transaction is done. Say you're trying to transfer money from an account to another account in banking. You know, once you transfer the money from your check into savings, an account gets debited, the other account gets credited, and then the transaction is set to be done. So in our EFT software here, when you say transaction, you are trying to, uh, or that is a way to determine how long it takes uh, for your uh, certain activity to complete, meaning you will insert transactions anywhere you like, primarily, you know, depending on your business functionality, right? Say, for example, you want to determine how long it takes for you to log in, then all you have to do is ins you have to start a transaction and end a transaction. I mean to say this, you have to end the same transaction uh, at appropriate points within your script to determine how long it takes for the script to finish that portion of the script. Say for example I have our standard uh, sample flight reservation application and you know it's a pretty standard script that we have seen in the other videos. It uh, has a login action, it makes a reservation and it will close the application. Let's say I want to uh, you know our goal here and let me look at uh, talk about this you know we have a goal here in this we have two goals first is to <clears throat> determine how long it takes for the login action to complete you know because it's going to start and then complete so we want to know how long it takes and then we all we want to determine how long it takes for the application to display the reservation screen after you click the ok button on the login screen so the, those two are our goals so let's start with one, with the first one. So first is we need to determine how long it takes for the login action to run. So we are already in the login action, and you know all these are comments. That means it starts at line 15. So we want to know how long it takes for the for the script to run from line 15 to line 27. That means we need to start something here, or we need to start some sort of timer. So I'll say start timer and we need to stop timer so if you if you were to literally use a stopwatch and kind of start it here and end it here then that pretty much tells you how long it took to finish this particular action so equivalent to that is adding a transaction and this is how you do it design start transaction and you will say login action and you can give more meaningful name uh, name depending on your kind of business you do and I mean to say the kind of application you're working with and kind of thing that you're doing so I'll just say login action because I'm just trying to demonstrate the functionality here uh, so services dot start transaction and give the name and here I want to end it I can do a couple of ways I can do services dot I can you have a list there I'll say end transaction I'll give the name login action this will work just fine I'll go ahead and comment this out and I'll show you a different way you can do the same thing design end transaction so that's the transaction we started oh there's all oh, let me clear let me take this out and let me oh, I already have this transaction so let me take that out let me make sure okay let me save the script so 
as you saw you know you could actually you know enter services dot end transaction give the same name here that means it's, it's starting here ending the transaction or you could do design end transaction and you'll see the transaction that was started within this action you can pick that one and to ok it does the same thing it adds it so now the transaction is done let me uh, run the script and see uh, what kind of impact this has on our reports or you know results okay here are our results let's go take a look at the transaction so that's when the transaction started and let's go to the end transaction and at the end transaction it tells duration is 1.14 seconds so that's the duration that's the time it took for uh, the script to finish the action I mean the login action so that was our first goal now let's see how long it takes to for the application to display the login screen not the login screen but the reservation screen after you click OK on the login screen so this is where we just clicked OK because since we know it is um, an automation script and it does the first thing and it immediately clicks the login button let's let us time it right before it clicks the uh, OK button so we want to add a transaction here I will do design start and uh, this would be um, user authentication time because you're clicking and then you're logging in I'll just name it I mean of course you, know, you can give it uh, a meaningful name depending on the application you're testing but I'll just stick with this one user authentication time click OK so it just added uh, you know a similar line services dot start transaction in uh, it could this could be any name and we had a login action here so we, we want to start here and then go into make reservation and then add here because this will uh, but after line 7 it is safe to assume that we have the flight reservation screen open on the screen I mean to say you know on the on your monitor so now uh, let us end the transaction here and you might have a challenge let's say to end you might think that okay, let me go here and end but you may not see it so what you can do for that is just enter the thing you know, services dot end transaction and you need to give the name and the name is very simple go to the login grab the name from here and paste it here to so that now you just started a transaction a second transaction here and you're ending it in the other action so it can overlap let's go ahead and run the script and see if it really runs or if it fails because we have start in one action we had end in another action look like it went through just fine let's wait for the system to finish and we'll look at uh, the report I mean to say the the results okay looks like it ran with no errors so there's start transaction there that's for the login action so we started user authentication here at this time we ended login action within the login action I mean the transaction it took 1.2 seconds we started the user authentication time transaction within the login action but we ended it in flight reservation screen or flight uh, sorry make reservation action so this is where we ended it so it still the duration is 2.54 uh, seconds so that means that's the time it took for the you know from the point when you added this transaction so right before you clicked OK you started the counter and you finished after you uh, you know saw that you know after the first step there which is you know it was looking I, th I believe you were moving the screen a little bit or clicking there some some sort of activity there so so that you know this second transaction that we added gives you the time it takes for the user to or for the screen to log in and display you the flight reservation okay so let me uh, close this results here 
so let's uh, now let let's add a third goal ourselves so we want to know how long for the how long the script takes to run completely i mean because this is a straight uh, run uh, you um, you know it's just the amount of time it takes but when you have more checkpoints when you have uh, you know a, a lot of data to process meaning when you when you parameterize your test and then add a lot of transactions or a lot of bookings that you want to make through the data driven script and if you want to know how long it takes for the checkpoints and how long it takes for the data to process so you can check all that but you have to add the transactions at the right spot because you know you know you know start to end right and depending on what's between start and end you know there's a meaning to it so let's say for example i want to you know determine the whole time you know from start to finish i want to know how long it takes that means i will add a transaction here sorry design start transactions i'll just say start I'll say start script. I'll just copy that. Go all the way to the end, which would be exit. And this is when where I will end. And I know this is not start transaction. This is end. Done. So if I run the script now, that particular transaction, because it's starting, that's a very first step. And then it's ending. It's after all the activity. So that transaction will tell me how long it took for the script to run all the actions. If I were to directly go there, I can just go here, start transaction, that's where you're ending end transaction, that's a transaction we're dealing with. It took 11.89 seconds to log in, book one reservation and exit. But now, you know, if you add, let's say, if you want to make 20 reservations, right, this time will increase. So then you'll get an idea on what kind of impact, you know, the checkpoints and uh, what kind of impact the data is having. And not just that. Sometimes, you know, the script might run slow. That doesn't mean that the script is running slow. It could be that the system is not responding to you. Let's say you're trying to book a flight. You clicked, okay, you know, insert uh, booking or, ins or that insert button on the screen but if the system is not responding meaning the database is not responding it might take you know uh, maybe three four minutes right there uh, you know it might get lost and get an error so things like that will happen and you know if you add transactions at appropriate location it kind of gives you an idea if certain areas of application are slower than the other depending on what you do again it, it is it all depends on your business knowledge your you know your application knowledge and your familiarity with the environment sometimes you know uh, your database might be slow and it might be you know slow for a long time and you know, for months and months and there might be something else with that thing and there could be some database issue there could be a disk issue on the database system but you know this will kind of give you an idea so primarily a transactions are something where you know you add a start and end and you will know how long it you know uh, it takes for the script to uh, for that portion of the script to run so anyway that's um, that's about transactions uh, you know feel free to rewind and watch because uh, you know you know probably when you watch for the first time uh, you might not get a hang of it but you know watch a couple of times uh, it's a very easy concept but it's a very powerful I mean the concept is easy but it's quite powerful because it gives you that amount of information that you could actually got quality of information that you could take and talk to the team because you know it, it tells you how long it takes right so that's a powerful information especially in meetings okay well um, I hope you enjoyed this video I will talk to you you know in the next video